welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how to replace a nozzle on your Ender 3 Pro. Last night I started a print that was only supposed to take about 12, 13 hours. It were, are these little like Kyber crystal holders. And uh, I woke up this morning and I noticed that it was halfway through the print and there was nothing coming out of the, the, the nozzle. There was no filament coming out of the, the end. So I checked everything. Uh, the hot end was, was was heating up. The bed was heating up, all that stuff. Everything else checked out to be okay. But then as I looked closer to the nozzle, it looked like that there was a little clog uh, that I'm going to be uh, replacing right now. So I'm just gonna show you a quick video on how to do this. It's, it's quite easy to be honest with you. You can actually get the replacement nozzles on Amazon. And this is actually the first time I'm actually uh, changing the nozzle. So uh, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so what you will need is a small Allen wrench. Um, this is the one that actually came with my Ender 3 Pro. So once you have your Allen wrench ready to go, let me grab mine. Uh, there are gonna be two small screws. One's right here and the other one is right here. This detaches the fan uh, from the hot end. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so since we have the fan off, now what we're going to do is get underneath and take out the uh, nozzle here. Um, do not touch the hot end, the hot end is very hot. Um, I have mine at 200 degrees right now, so just please be careful. But uh, we're gonna have the tools do all the work. So right now we have the outer housing off. Um, now the nozzle is exposed. And what I mean by the outer housing, there is a little uh, rubber piece that protects the nozzle along with the hot end. Um, it's just like a flexible rubber. Um, just be careful because it is hot as well. It just slides right back on when you're done. All right, and also here are the uh, replacement nozzles. These are the ones I was talking about that I got them off Amazon, uh, very cheap. So far, so good, let's keep going. So here is the old nozzle. Um, I definitely can tell that it's clogged. Um, and, I mean, it's very hard to see through the camera, but um, just by shining a light into here, and I also just try to stick like a, a Q-tip after it cooled down to go through, and there's something in there that's lodged. Looks like, uh, it's looking like a nozzle issue. So let me uh, change it up with a new one and go from there. Okay, so we are all set back up. We have the nozzle in, the fans attached. Just have to put some plastic filament into the uh, hot end and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so right now we have everything installed. Uh, everything's put back together. Um, the nozzle, the fan, everything's ready to go. The plastic, all that stuff's ready to go. The last thing I wanna do though, since I was messing around with the uh, mechanics of the printer, I always try to re-level it. Um, even though it may not need to be re-leveled, but it's always a good uh, you know, precaution to, to, to do. Uh, especially if you're gonna start off by making a big print. I'm gonna re-level it and do a quick test print and then we should be good to go. All right, so everything is put back together. Uh, we are going to uh, do a quick test, just a bed leveling test. Thank you. 
Okay, and that concludes the video. Um, if you followed along with what I did here for my Ender 3 Pro, you should have no problems. It is a very easy, straightforward fix, to be honest with you. This is my very first time actually doing it. And to be honest with you, it is surprisingly easy. Actually, a lot of the upgrades on these printers are, are pretty straightforward, very easy to do, and very inexpensive as well. Uh, like I said before, I would highly recommend getting a pack of the nozzles on Amazon. I think they're around like eight bucks, 10 bucks, but they're well worth it, especially when you have uh, you know projects going on and prints are failing because of your nozzle. It's a very easy fix. It'll get you right back on track and uh, you'll be good to go. So my print uh, test is coming out very well. Um, I test, I'm just testing the, the squares. You can get that on Thingiverse, just a quick uh, test that goes around the entire bed. Um, and uh, so far, so good. So I do have a cat up here. Um, Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope this video taught you a little bit on how to change your nozzle if you happen to run into the same issue that I ran into this morning. Also, head on over to my Instagram. I do make more updates over there. I also do like toy reviews, uh, things of that nature. So this channel is not just about 3D printing, modeling, things like that. It's about pretty much everything as far as uh, nerdyism goes. But uh, again, I, I really do appreciate you stopping by. If you like the video, like it up, subscribe. And until the next time, take care.